pictures are everywhere and we take them all the time with cameras. But did you know cameras wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for our Muslim hero, Hassan ibn al-Haytham? Check out our Muslim Heroes and Inventors channel to find out more. Enjoy! The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Most of the Muslims felt very sad for the Hudaybiyah's peace agreement because they could not make it to Umrah that year. Most of them felt that they should use force against the Quraysh. But Muhammad wasallam's target was to bring peace in the world. He did not want to fight unless the bad people wanted to start a fight first. At that moment, no one could see the future. Even the great Umar Radantala became very sad and angry for the Hudaybiyah peace agreement. The Prophet tried to give comfort to the Muslims by saying that they would perform Umrah next year to fulfill the dream that he had. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called the peace agreement a victory to the Muslims in Surah Fath verse 1. Then Umar Radantala realized his mistake and gave lots of charity and started fasting, praying, and freeing slaves to get Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. Because of the Hudaybiyah agreement, new Muslim men could not come to Medina anymore without their parents' permission. So the Prophet advised them to move to Abyssinia or any other place so that the Hudaybiyah agreement would not affect them. A lot of Mecca's women saw the beauty of Islam. They saw how Islam gave the highest right and respect to all the women. There was no other religion that gave so much right and respect to women. So lots of women from the Quraysh started to accept Islam as the true religion, and some of them escaped to Medina. When the Quraysh wanted them back, the Prophet rejected the Quraysh and said that in the agreement, the woman issue was not included. About that situation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Surah Al-Mumtahana verse 10 and 12 to guide the Prophet. After that, Prophet Muhammad wasallam took an interview with the Muslim woman who moved from Mecca. If they promised to stay as good Muslim women, the Prophet would let them stay in Medina. One time, a new Muslim, Abu Basir, escaped from Mecca to Medina because of the bad Quraysh's torture. As usual, the Quraysh sent two of their people to arrest Abu Basir and bring him back to Mecca. To keep the peace agreement active, Prophet Muhammad wasallam handed him over to the Quraysh. But on the return way to Mecca at the place of Dhul Hulaifa area, Abu Basir destroyed one of his captors and the other escaped to Medina to complain to the Prophet. By that time, Abu Basir came to the Prophet to get help from the Muslims. But when he realized that the Prophet could not break the peace agreement with the Quraysh, he became scared and ran away to the coastal area. A few days later, Abu Jandal also escaped from Mecca and joined Abu Basir. After that, whoever escaped from Mecca joined Abu Basir at that coastal area. All the escaped Muslims united together and made a plan. Whenever they saw the Quraysh business group using that route to go to Syria, Abu Basir's group attacked them to give a hard time to the bad Quraysh. That was very bad for the Quraysh business. 
So they complained to the Prophet about Abu Basir's group. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam said that he could not do anything because Abu Basir's group was not in Medina. The Quraysh did not know what to do. Finally, the Quraysh request the Prophet to bring Abu Basir's group to Medina so that they could do their business easily. They also finally agreed that any Muslim could move to Medina and the Quraysh would not stop them and that the peace agreement would not be affected anymore. The Prophet Muhammad became very happy and asked Abu Basir and other Muslims to come join them in Medina. Have you ever wanted to make a big difference to help children all over the world? We provide everything we create for free and are committed to keeping it that way for millions of Muslims and non-Muslims all over the world. 100% of our operations are crowdfunded from our generous audience. We want to continue our Dawa mission and we can do so with your help. All donations are tax deductible and Sadaqai Zaria, which continues to benefit you when you pass away from this world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your generosity and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter.